Welcome to Trail Recon. I'm Jordan. And I'm Devin. And today we're going to be doing some exploring in Fish Creek. Yeah, we are here without our dad today. So this is yep. going to be our first adventure on our own without yeah. him. So it'll definitely be interesting. He sent me a bunch of GPX files. So we're going to try to go on all the little offshoots that he hasn't been yet. Yeah, so we're going to be doing some exploring of our own. Uh, hopefully find some really cool new stuff without him. And then we'll brag about it to him later. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, we're both in stock vehicles. So it should be a good time. And uh, just going to do a little camping tonight. Yeah, so, you know, stick with us and let's see where the day takes us. So I'm super excited for our time in Anza Borrego today. Um, I don't really know where we're going because Jordan's the one with the GPX files, but we spent so much time here and so much of Anza Borrego is really beginner friendly that wherever we go, honestly, it should be a fun time. And that's definitely good for our mostly stock vehicles. Jordan, so what uh, delicious delicacies do we have going on over here? So we have sourdough bread with ham and cheese. Mm. A little mayo, a little honey mustard. And that's it. Give this man his Michelin star already. Now I know I'm giving Jordan a hard time, but I really do appreciate him making lunch. Sometimes simple meals are really enjoyable, but this time it was definitely improved by the company, as Jordan brought along his girlfriend Sam as well as their dog Winnie, who is super, super cute as you will see throughout the video. So we just finished up lunch and we just got back on the trail. We're going off this little offshoot right now. I'm not sure where it goes, how difficult it is, but it should lead back to the trail at some point. But I mean, I'm having a pretty good time so far. What about you? Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And there's a really big like step up that we're going up right now. Do you, do you want a GoPro mount? Oh, it's gonna scrape. Didn't scrape at all, wow. And then now Devin's going to go up. Yeah, having a blast out here so far. Now, me and Jordan have done our own camping and off-roading trips before, but this was actually our first time filming an adventure without our dad. Needless to say, we're a little bit nervous, but luckily we've had a lot of first-hand experience working with him over the years, so we had somewhat of an idea of what we were doing. Regardless, it was just really fun spending some time out on the trail with Jordan, as since he's been gone on deployments and overseas over the years, we haven't gotten to do this a whole lot, so I really enjoyed it. So we're here at Samstone okay, Canyon. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it's been a great day so far. There's a lot of people out here. I mean, it is President's Day weekend. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> that explains it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're driving past Sandstone Canyon. We've been down this trail dozens of times. So many times. But we're not just going to drive past it and not go down it. No, it's just, it's always incredible to look at. Um, it's just really atmospheric and I love it. Yeah, just driving through with the, the canyon walls on both sides. Like you, you can't beat it. No, So can't. yeah, so. we're not going to pass this up.
So, like we mentioned earlier, it's been incredibly busy on the trail today, but it's actually been okay. Um, there's been a lot of traffic, but everyone's been super courteous to each other. A lot of smiles and waving, a few people recognizing Jordan, which is funny considering our dad's not even here. Um, but yeah, it's just really awesome to see the variety of vehicles and just everyone having a good time. It was like 72 degrees about an hour ago, which in the middle of February is just phenomenal. So I can't blame anyone for being out here today. It seems like everyone wanted to go down Sandstone Canyon. We had a little bit of a wait, but it's been a great day. This here was one of the few technical sections we actually got to tackle that day. We had to take our time and a Subaru who was driving behind us had to turn around as they probably wouldn't have made it through here without scratching the undercarriage pretty badly. Uh, luckily me and Jordan didn't scratch and we made it through just fine. Alright guys, so we finally made it to our camp spot. Uh, we didn't have a lot of luck with the other places we were looking at though. No, this entire place is just, it's packed. Everything we thought would be a good camp spot, we drove down, people were there. I mean, it's, it's just crazy. Yeah, there were some dead ends too. So we did do some exploring, which was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, there were some scenic places we've never been to before. Um, there was a little mountain lion uh, sign that was back there, which was kind of spooky, but yeah, we realized the reason some of the trails he didn't go down is because there's signs saying like road closed. Yeah, so. even though they're open on the map, uh, we learned that. So yeah, here we are now. We're gonna set up camp. You know, kind of walk around our stuff. Jordan will show you what he's got and yeah. cook some dinner and hang out. As you can see here, Jordan's got a pretty decent setup in the bed of his truck. He's got things nice and organized and clearly strapped down so nothing's moving around and shaking as he's driving through those washboard roads. The back of my Jeep, however, is not so neat and organized, so I will not be showing that off to you. I hope to eventually, you know, get some organization stuff back there and then we can share it with you, but not on this trip. Not on this trip. And here you can see Jordan's setting up the gazelle tent and he gets to use this one while I use the shift pod because the gazelle tent's a little bit bigger and obviously he has to fit more people in it with him, Sam, and Winnie. So he's setting this up no problem. I have a bit more difficulty with the shift pod. Uh, I think that may be a personal issue though. I love the tent, I'm just not the best at setting it up just yet. And I know what you're thinking. You might be saying to yourself, well, Devin, you just said you had difficulty setting up the tent, but you look like an absolute master here. Well, that's the power of editing out your mistakes, baby. All right, Devin, what are we making for dinner? We're making pasta with a creamy tomato sauce and Italian sausage. Um, we're using this pre-cooked penny pasta and then just some really simple ingredients. Um, should turn out better than those chicken tacos you made, so I'm stoked for that, but... 
Yeah, I mean, the plan was to have just more sandwiches for dinner originally, but then mom came by and was like, nope, you're making pasta, so yeah. now we're making pasta. I was like, you know what, I'm not too mad about actually eating decently, so you know, we'll see how this turns out. Yeah. Oh. Pasta dishes. That's right, you said that's your favorite food, right? Yeah. I can do enchiladas. Fusion salmon recipe. It has like honey and different, like, Butter. yeah. <laughs> hey. hey. What's up, dude? Sam, what do you think about the camping trip so far? Um, I had a really good nap in the car. Yeah? Yeah. Fell asleep the, almost the whole ride here. Yeah. So I guess I had two naps in the car. It was fun. Do you like the trail? Yeah. Yeah? It's good. The scenery, all the flowers and everything? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The flowers were really nice. All of the rock layers. Yeah. All, all the rock formations are pretty cool. Oh, well. Better go. It's all inside. Your body. Yeah. I've just never heard anyone have that as their favorite. I don't know. I just, every time I watch it, I'm just like, everything about this movie is amazing to me. I like that. It's worth it. Yeah. Better than cars. And it's not. <laughs> cars is hands down the best movie ever made. Soundtrack is good. Not just the soundtrack. The I movie. will listen to The Rascal Flats Life is a Highway on repeat for hours. Alright, guys, so what's the verdict? I actually really like it. Yeah. It's good. Like it, it's hot. Yeah, it is hot. <laughs> but it's not bad. It's okay. I like it. The but, sausage is good. It's yeah. creamy. It's cheesy. Mm -hmm. Mom, hopefully you're proud of me. As you can see here, my little espresso maker doesn't fit onto my stove super well. I had to balance that perfectly for it to stay on there. But now it's time to sit back, wait, let that coffee brew, because, you know, I'm not awake until I have some caffeine in my system. At least everything's going smooth this morning. Or, well, maybe not that smooth. Well, it was definitely unexpected for the handle to melt. I can't say I'm too surprised as in the past when I have used it, it does get pretty hot to the point where I have to put on something, whether it's a towel or an oven mitt, just to grab the handle. 
I guess it was just being over that exposed of a flame where it just got too hot and melted, but kind of a bummer. I love that little thing. Since I was in charge of dinner last night, Jordan has volunteered to take breakfast duties this morning. He's making some sausage, eggs, throwing in some cheese, and he's going to put together some nice breakfast burritos. We're going to have some guac and salsa on this side. It's going to be a simple but delicious breakfast. Great way to start the day. Now, it's time to eat. We're definitely not near the level of cook that my mom is, but I like to think we did okay for ourselves. I mean, we made food that was edible, and at the end of the day, it's kind of the main goal, right? Helps if it's tasty too, and these were okay. Just kidding, Jordan, they were pretty good. All right, guys, so. We had some pretty good breakfast, thanks to Jordan this morning. Um, some coffee, a little bit of trouble on my end with uh, my little espresso Yeah, I'm melting your pot. Yeah, that wasn't cool, um, but lesson learned, don't put it over that exposed of a flame, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's been a nice relaxing morning. It's definitely starting to heat up. Yeah, I mean, when we first woke up, it was a little chilly, but as soon as that sun hit us, it was, I mean, I was cooking. Yeah, it's gonna be warm today. Um, it'll probably be a nice day, but we're gonna start making our way out of here and head home, so. Hope you guys enjoyed this trip, and as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to check us out at trailrecon.com. Okay. <laughs>